Hi, this is Steve from SewingGold.com. I want to show um, a problem that one of our customers is having. Um, our machine is set properly with tension and everything. Uh, if you look at the knob here, you can see how little of this post is showing. I'm going to turn this to where I see in the pictures of the video that was sent to me. Okay, so that's one problem. Oop, let me focus back in on that. Okay. The other problem I was seeing was with nylon thread I've mentioned in other videos to start off putting it in here first in this thread guide and then coming through your discs. Now, with this disc, if I put the thread on the outside, of course it's going to be loose because there's no tension. Okay, Even if I move it a little bit in, it's still not the complete tension. It has to be completely in the discs, okay, in the discs. Now, if the tension is set here like this, it's possibly going to break your thread or cause puckering. Okay, so when you do thread this machine, now I just threaded it with the foot just halfway up. Sorry, excuse my hands. I'm going to pull this out, and I'm going to thread it again for you now. Right now, if we look at the foot, I'm going to sh just show the foot. The foot's in this position here. Now, right now, when I do that, if we view the actual tension, and I move this up and down, you don't see it release. You don't see these discs move really all that much. Okay, So if I do use the knee lift, so if I go down here, see the knee lift there next to my box there, there, the knee lift? Okay, so if I engage the knee lift all the way, okay, we're going to watch those discs again. So when I thread the machine, you see that this bracket go up here, this little guide bracket, okay? This goes up, the discs come apart. You see the discs move? You can see the discs move. Okay, so when I thread the machine, I want to push this all the way up. Okay, then I have zero tension on the machine, of course, because my discs are not together. But in that case, I could pull the thread between those discs perfectly. So. Let me thread it with this up, and you'll see. Okay, first first thing I'm going to do, I only have two hands here, so give me a minute. Let me put this in there. I'm going to thread that first, okay? Then I'm going to put this up, and then I'm going to put this between the discs, okay? Now, you see when I release that, it goes all the way in the disc, and you can see how far it goes into the disc, okay? And if it, if it doesn't go in the disc, it'll lay on the outside of the disc. Same thing. So if I do it... With just the foot, the presser foot is in the up position, but if I just do this, you see where it is there? It's not in the disc. Then I, what I would have to do is pull. If I pull both, I'm holding both and I pull it, now it's in between the discs. That's fine too, but it's much easier. Let me go back. I'm going to pull this out one more time just so I can just hammer this home. Okay, so same thing. This totally release the discs in between over the check spring under the L bracket. Okay, so now when I'm there, you could see it's in the tension discs and it should not come out because I've put it through this thread guide also. Going through the thread guide. So that is going to make sure that the the uh, the thread stays into the in the tension discs, then you won't have a problem. So what I want you to do is back this off you may have to adjust your bobbin case now, too, because this has been wrong the whole time. The way it was threaded, it wasn't going into the discs. So you want to make sure that your, your tension is backed off. Okay? And then once you have it like that, you shouldn't be breaking any thread anymore. Okay? And also, you're going to have proper tension. The tension's not going to be too tight. The tight tension definitely caused thread breakage. Needle backwards, that could cause thread breakage. Numerous things. But the way I saw in the video that was sent to me, that's the problem. Okay, so like I said, back this off. You're going to barely see a little bit of the uh, post here, okay? And then making sure that you thread it like this, keep it in between the discs, and that should solve that issue of thread breakage. Um, if you have any questions, you can leave a comment below. Um, otherwise, you can shoot me an email, info at sewinggold.com. Thank you.